Hey guys, so today I want to do a quick little video here where we will be checking out the Note 2 here with TouchWiz installed, of course. Uh, it, this is my 4G edition uh, Galaxy Note 2 and uh, we can check it out if you go into the settings area, go to the bottom page and 4.1 Jelly Boy, uh, <laughs> no it's Jelly Bean. There we go. So uh, G the GT N7, it's not the N7100, but N7000 with the 5 at the end, which means that it's like the 4G edition of the, the Note 2. Uh, where I live, when the first Note uh, came out, I'm pretty sure that it wasn't the well in a 4G variant, but then this boy came out, you can see this is like the black boy edition. No, it's just the black edition, or is it the black edition? No, it's like blue and maybe or something. Uh, of course, the Note 2, uh, the most powerful feature with this phone is the amazing big battery, 2100 milliamps. Uh, or at least I'm pretty sure. No, <laughs> I'm retarded. I mean, 3100 milliamps, uh, which is pretty insane in terms of battery life. It is, of course, a phone from last year, so a, it's a quad core device. Uh, yeah, it's a quad core, of course. <laughs> quad core, a little bit higher clocked than what you would get on the Galaxy S3, and of course, the main key features here is the wonderful S Pen. You take it out, it's so much more improved compared to earlier phones, uh, like the original Galaxy Note. And soon we'll be uh, getting the next Note 2 coming out, or no next Note 3, uh, that's rumored to come out on September the 4th uh, on on, uh, in the, on the IFA. Uh, so, you can draw a guy. We can change all the features. I definitely do believe that the S Pen is my favorite feature with this phone uh, because this is what I use the S Pen for. You, sure, you can use it for a ton of things here. You can see uh, for recipe diary, you have templates here. Uh, and then you also get this calendar, which should be here somewhere. I'm pretty sure it's a widget. Uh, the S widgets or S planner or whatever now it's being called, C. Can I find it? Google Now also widget over here. Of course, you have your normal Gmail widgets, Google Plus posts, and uh, there we go. Here we have a ton of different S notes. So if we bring out this one over here, you can see that you quickly now can have access to uh, drawing fun things. And uh, of course, you can add more, more uh, add pictures. Uh, you can add a ton of different features here, and I do like the creative aspect of that. Uh, but that's just the first thing. I mean, we can also have, of course, if you quickly want to just go into text mode, insanely nice. And you save that stuff. Uh, if you want to add a picture instantly, uh, of course, very, very nice. It quickly um, turns that up. Of course. Here. Yo, what's up, my homeboy? And uh, of course, you can you can record stuff. Yo, what's up, my homeboy? Yeah, I mean that that was random. Uh, but you can have a voice memo here, so very very good that you can have some sound uh, to your S stuff in here. And this is one of the widgets, of course. Uh, and then of course we do have a ton of others. Uh, S planner, especially here, if you want to plan out your day. You really want to go hardcore with the S Pen. Uh, really, really nice stuff here. I haven't actually played around super much with this because usually I, I don't plan all that much. Uh, of course, you can write uh, with the S Pen as well. So you can type in A, D, <laughs> and then we do have this. Let's see here. Okay, it works with numbers as well. Pretty useful. Pretty, pretty useful stuff. Uh, and then let's see here, notes. A new S note. You can add different templates in here. Blah. <laughs> Is it saved? Let's check that out. Okay, cool. Uh, so you can add notes there. So if you really want to go creative, well, you can. And uh, there's just so much features you have with the S Pen uh, that, of course, I, I can go over everything in one video, but that would be insane. And but if you really want to maximize it, 
if you really want to maximize your smartphone experience, especially with the big display, uh, this is a bad boy. And this is this is the good stuff. Uh, and then we do have, of course, it's TouchWiz installed here. Th that is where all the S apps comes from, and that is the reason why you want to have TouchWiz with the. Uh, uh, with the Galaxy Note 2 uh, because it, if you don't have that then you don't get Samsung's apps like S Note and all of the S apps and a lot of the S features uh, but then also there's some very very attractive things here on the right side uh, which is of course my Galaxy S4 with uh, the latest Android 4.3 the Google edition that you can install uh, on your Galaxy S4 if you have the G10 and 5 edition and you can see it has a very very cool stock version of Android it's kind of blue theme here the cool thing is when you change pages here you can see that you always get the search widget up there at the top with Google Now it doesn't change place extremely nice when you even change home screens set the alarm at 5 p.m. and you can see how super super quick it is what is 2 plus 2? What is 2 plus 2? Buffet. What is 2 plus 2? <laughs> what is 2 plus 2? The answer is... Finally. Four. And you, bring, you get up the whole calculator here. That's what I like here that you can quickly... Uh, and also that, that with the alarm that I can quickly disable it and stuff. Uh, you kind of get, uh, you, of course, Google Now. You also have the wearable here uh, on my note. What's up, my homeboy? <laughs> so you can see what? <laughs> I didn't say that. Okay, that's so random. I didn't say what's up, my... What? What? Okay, that was random. I thought that was pretty random, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, let's continue on here. Uh, we, have, of course, have a normal app drawer on both devices. Uh, one thing that strikes me with Android 4.3 is that it's just fast in terms of menus and everything. It's quick. You can see how extremely smooth it is here. Of course, it also smooth here on uh, the Note 2, but there's something Especially in terms of FPS, it feels just a little bit extra smooth there, uh, which is extremely nice. Uh, if you take a look at the lock screen here, of course I can go over separate apps also if you would like me to do that. Uh, the cool thing here is that we can have uh, lock screen widgets here with Android 4.3 and the earlier version of Android here. So you can uh, have a quick access to the camera. But not just the camera, but also other features like messaging, Google Plus Post, and mostly, of course, Google stuff here because Google wanna con want you to use their own own stuff, of course. So that could be good to know. Uh, and then you have a pretty pretty clean experience here with the clock at the top. I think this looks pretty cool as well. Uh, but that, that's just a smaller feature, of course. Uh, one thing here, though, with we I can have quick access to five apps here. Uh, on my note at all, and uh, so that's pretty useful. And also, what I like with TouchWiz here uh, is that when you drag down like this, let's see here, you drag down like this, you can see that we only get a few toggles here, uh, like Wi Fi, uh, let's see the battery, Bluetooth, uh, and settings and brightness. Uh, in the stock version of Android, where I think it's better layout here, where you have a quick brightness slider, and then a ton of toggles, and of course you get more toggles in the latest version of TouchWiz uh, for Samsung Galaxy users, uh, and I think that's a better system. Uh, here they have a button for brightness, which I think is pretty annoying, uh, but of course it works, but I would rather have it right here at the top, so I can quickly enable and disable it. Uh, but that, that's just a small feature, of course, uh, small little variant here and of course most apps that you do get a, in the uh, the stock version here there's nothing really special about them like Google Chrome I can get at uh, on my Note 2 as well uh, but there are some things like if you do have the Note 2 you probably don't want to install stock version of Android because then you're probably not going to get S Note and uh, all of uh, Samsung's own exclusive apps which could be pretty useful uh, if you really just try to start to use them uh, and I think that that's something that you usually don't want to try out new things, uh, especially if you uh, are a big fan of a specific operating system and 
that is just uh, you just want to uh, keep doing what you always been doing and that that could be a danger sometime uh, and then of course also uh, I can't wait to see uh, the next generation note device coming out that should have a little bigger battery uh, probably more of the Galaxy S4 design uh, I can definitely go over more things in future videos just a quick summary here of course with Android as I've said many many times before uh, you can get kind of the same experience on both devices if you want to play around with firmwares and you know you can change the appearance of how Android looks like uh, because it's Android and uh, Android you, you get a lot of freedom with so if you want to play around with um, um, the, the interface, the UI and all that and there's so much freedom uh, out there to do so you can get live wallpapers on both of course uh, you do have some new special features of course with the uh, the S4 that definitely feels a lot better to hold in the hand uh, and has more of a cool design I think um, has a pretty good battery also uh, 1080p display so a little bit higher resolution over there and a little bit more vibrant display uh, which I think is a big cool thing better GPU is a better gaming experience and also way better CPU so more future proof even though with the, each new version of Android it seems like it's getting snappier and snappier and the software is getting better uh, better better and better optimized so if you want to see specific videos browser camera and all that god thanks please let me know about that and I will see what I can do yeah video